In 1986, I was 13 years old, and I watched Spud Webb, who was five foot seven inches tall, beat Dominique Wilkins, who was six foot eight inches tall, in the NBA slam dunk competition. To say that Spud Webb defied the law of gravity would be a bit of an understatement. Guy's 5'7", he's two inches shorter than me. And he didn't just dunk it, it wasn't like a participation trophy, because you're 5'7 and you can dunk basketball, you get the award. He, he did all sorts of amazing things. He dunked both hands behind his head, he dunked with one hand, he bounced the ball down and off the glass, um, caught in one hand and dunked it. It was really extraordinary. And at the end of the slam dunk competition, the announcer says, this is clearly inspiration to all the little men around the world who play the game of basketball. I took him very literally <laughs> and said this, he was talking to me. I'm 13, I'm 5'6", Spud Webb's 5'7", I figure if Spud can do it, I can do it. So I start by watching the tape, and it was literally a tape. I recorded it on my VCR, which that's a feat in and of itself, and then I spent about two hours watching Spud do what he had done over and over and over again. A lot of that time was spent rewinding, because you have to hold the rewind button and watch it go backwards. So I watched for two hours, I watched how does Spud approach the goal, where does he put his feet, what does he do with his arms, how does he create this incredible um, jump to get up to the, to the basket and dunk it. And until the point where I feel like I had it down, roughly. And then I did a quick equipment assessment. So Spud had NBA issued he played for the Atlanta, Haw Atlanta Hawks. He had a tank top. He had a pair of shorts. I had a tank top. <laughs> it was really a t-shirt that I cut the sleeves and the neck out of. It was a tank top nonetheless. And I had a pair of sort of nondescript pair of shorts. I was fine on that front. Spud had a nice pair of leather pony low top basketball shoes that I think had his name on the side of them. He was a reasonably famous basketball player. Um, I, on the other hand, had a, the entry level pair of Avias. <laughs> which I'm not convinced they even sell those anymore. Not 100% leather, I'm not sure how little leather was in them, but it was not 100%. But it was a basketball shoe, and I felt like, you know, Spud's got his shoes, I have my shoes, that shouldn't hold me up. The piece of the assessment I did not do was to look at my physique. And I use that word very loosely here, because at 13, I was 5'6", I weighed about 160 pounds, <coughs> And it had only been about a year since I had stopped shopping in the Husky jean section um, of the department store. So while Spud had a 42 inch vertical jump, which is about up to here, a man could jump up onto your kitchen counter, for example, my vertical jump was probably 15, 16 inches. I might get up into the like bottom drawer of your dresser <laughs> in, a, in a windless, frictionless environment. <laughs> so, I get my gear together, I've watched my tape, I think I'm ready to do it. And again, it, it would never occur to me that um, even though I tried to touch the net two days before that and couldn't, that I, this nothing had changed. What I felt like was, it's not that I couldn't dunk a basketball at 5'6", it was that no one ever showed me how. So I walk out, I get my ball, I go out in the driveway, <clears throat> I stand, I look up at the rim, which is kind of staring back at me, like, go ahead. And we had moved into this house. I'm not convinced the room was 10, in, 10 feet. That's how the regulation, I think it was slightly higher. I never really measured it, I'll let it go. But it was, I think, a little bit north of 10 feet. I line up, I take my ball, I approach the basket, I put my feet together just like Spud did, pull my arms back. And again, I'm not going for like a 360, I'm not going behind my head, just straight knock, just very simple, straightforward. And at the last moment, I jump, and needless to say, when I look back on that time, <laughs> and my <clears throat> attempting to defy the law of gravity, as I had seen Spud Webb do, um, I realized that Spud didn't necessarily defy the law of gravity. What, what Spud did for me, anyway, was really expanded the universe. And expanded for me, as a 13-year-old as a <laughs> at 5'6", and 160 pounds, what was possible. And there was a brief moment there, a couple hours, where I really felt like, truly, anything was possible. And, and that I will always be thankful for having, having that um, moment. Thank you.